before I jump into this video, the Alabama Bass Trail is giving away several things they've asked me to help promote. Giving away this Yeti cooler. Oh gosh. This awesome Yeti cooler. I've never seen that one before. And this Hydrowave. So all three of these things, the Alabama Bass Trail is giving away to three lucky people. All you have to do to win this is go subscribe to the Alabama Bass Trail on YouTube. That's literally all you gotta do. I'll put the link in the top of the description down below uh, so you don't miss it. But What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Darien is Fishing. This is morning of the tournament, like blast off morning of the tournament at Wheeler Lake in Alabama. As you can see behind us and in front of us, there's boats absolutely everywhere. It is a cluster at Ingalls Harbor in uh, Decatur, but it's a lot of fun. So there's like a ton of boats, 225 boats, minus the people who just probably aren't coming because, well, it's Wheeler in June and some people just don't like coming to Wheeler in June. But hopefully it'll be a fun day. We found a cool mayfly hatch. Hopefully we'll have some to film today. It's gonna be really, really hot, but the wind's changing today. It's not gonna blow as much. It's been super, super windy in practice, which messed things up for us and just made fishing difficult. So hopefully today's not gonna be that bad. We're gonna run down to our first spot. I'll see you guys on the chessy in a few seconds. Head to blast off now. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Trace, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Let's bring on flight number four, number six, Bradley Jones. Like we're going to a Mach 5 on that little. <laughs> Your boat goes a little faster than my boat. Dude, I like all these shells on this bank. All right, guys, we just hauled the balls all the way down here. Pull up on our first spot. I haven't even been here yet. Trey found, found the spot in practice. He said there was going to be some, so I'm completely taking his word on it. He ha he found a pretty good little, not I say pretty good. He got a couple bites in the morning, which was different than I had. <laughs> so we're just, a oh my God, I got wrecked, dude. All the minnows are there? Yeah. Or is there, is there something? Right there? Did you hit something? Uh -uh. I swear I just got bit. <gasps> Dude, that was all clawed. Back your troll, back your boat off the bank. That was a freak. Brownie. Dude, that was a giant. Dude, we gotta fish this slow as shit. Hey, dude, he, he never he never got mine either. Dude, we're about to catch these. If we can get these in the boat, dude, that was a giant. Yeah, but you threw right behind me. That has to be the same one that bit me. It had to. You know where exactly? I think she was right there. Yeah. No, it was right under this. It was under the the far left side of this tree. Double throwing that hoe. It was right there. <laughs> Trey did on Thursday. Do you see that one? Did you catch that one fish? That was the one Trey just had follow his chatterbait. Was it a was it a smallmouth? Yeah. It, it was right here. I know. That's why we came here. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, he is. There we go. Take your ass back in the boat. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. That's way a keeper. Let's see, wait, two pounds? Yep. Yeah. Try with the first strike on the chatter, mate. Well, that was fun. First fish in the boat. Good smallmouth. And uh, yeah, so we didn't get to film right as we got to our first spot because there was another boat. Turns out it was one of our good friends, Ryan and Naya. That was Ryan, right? And uh, he, he, so the crazy thing is me and Trey saw a gigantic smallmouth. I got bit by it and then it followed Trey up to the, all the way to the boat. And it, I mean, we both thought it was four or five pounds. 
And then when Ryan got up to us, he said, what's the chances of us both catching that, or both finding that fish? He had caught that fish yesterday and he said it was a five pounder. So gigantic smallmouth. Um, we will be back for it throughout the day. I'm sure they will too. So hopefully one of us catches that big fish. But anyhow, hope you guys, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's gonna be hopefully a fun day of fishing. Um, it's gonna be really hot, so we're kind of maximizing this morning, making sure we get a, get on a good bite while it's cool out. Actually, it's pretty cold this morning. And Trey's boat runs about 922 miles an hour. So it was a little bit chilly for me on the ride, but quickly I wanna show you guys what we got going on. We got a swim jig, a frog, another swim jig, a popper, uh, a chatterbait, and a shaky head back here in the back. Trey's throwing a chatterbait, and basically we're just going down the bank. Uh, there's a mayfly hatch, so the mayflies are in all these trees. But actually right now, we're not seeing as many of them. Um, but when we do find some mayflies, there's fish kind of blow, blowing up on them. So that's the pattern we're on. We both kind of figured it out in practice, but yesterday it wasn't really that great. Actually, it was terrible yesterday for us. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Jump back on the chesty and uh, yeah. That's, that's about it. Yeah, I thought we were about to go into uh, orbit this morning. <laughs> oh, dude. Got him? Yeah. Biggin? Biggin? No. Is he 12 inches? Yeah. He could be. Well, this one had to be 12, right? Yep. Trey might have just caught our second keeper. Maybe. I need a report on this, Trey. Report. Oh, oh, oh god, I just got smoked. The port is he is a freaking keeper. That is a keeper, mind. boy. Let's go. Dude, I just got bit. Really? Off the bank, yeah. Look at him up there. Off that rock where them ducks are. Dude, it's get they're going stupid up there. Look at them. How come I didn't get bit over there, Trey? No. God. God. Yeah, it is. God, he got a choke, too. Dude, he... <laughs> I'd say that was a good popper bite. I, I mean... Oh, dude, look at him. I bet he's bleeding. Dude, that was the best popper bite I've ever had. Dude, this fish is, like, already dead. No. I am. You don't have G juice in here, do you? No. Golly, dude. Alright. There's number three. And Trey just caught number four. Here. Good job. All right, Trey, this small is gonna die. We need to make a decision right now if we're gonna keep it or not. Yes, yeah, it's already basically dead. He just, dude, he just lost so much blood. There's, he's gonna die. There's no nothing, no, he's dead. He's dead, dead. But, I mean, he just drained like, damn, the whole Mountain Dew bottle full of blood. How much he lost. Like a fish like that don't even have that much blood in his body. He's already belly up. I think going back. I mean, we're catching them pretty decent. Yeah. Right I mean, because you got to think, we can't cull him. Let's just put him on this side, and I'll check him in five minutes. It's still pumping. It's oh, still it? So we need to, uh, you just need to keep fishing. So I'll keep checking it. You just keep. Can we both agree that was one of the best popper bites we've ever seen? That was one of the best popper bites I've ever seen. Dude, he got silly on it. You have a problem of called. You think they'd hit her. That's you got a disease of that. Do I? Yes, you call. It's called. You think they'd hit her because you're catching them about every fourth cast on the damn chatterbait, wondering if they'd eat something else. I'm not saying it's bad, because you adjust, but I'm just saying. 
I ain't hand bone. You didn't even look in that Ziploc bag I got you this morning, did you? No, I never had time. Oh hell. Oh, yeah. oh hell. It is time. It is time. You want to yeah. buy it right now, or are you want to no, sell your No, set bit? that in the seat. Okay. That's gonna hit, hit. That's a surprise, buddy. I, that's why I left you so early and didn't say, huh? You said I got a good surprise. Didn't I you? did. I went and got me them two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits and two packs of pop tarts. Come on. I'm gonna throw y'all popper over that tree up there. Yeah. Yep. Oh god, dude. Other side. I don't know where he's going. This left side, left side. Oh man, they're crushing this thing. God. Yes, baby, let's go! Oh, baby. <laughs> Gigantor! Big! Let's go! Dude, you realize if we catch off the line, it's going down. Dude, look how he's got this thing ate completely sideways. That's an old, that's an old butter bean eating fatty right there, son. <laughs> Ow! I just hooked myself. No, I didn't. Yeah, let's try to kill this. He's about to kill himself if he keeps yeah, working this treble hook down his throat anymore. I got him. I got him. I got him. Dude, I did not think he was that big when he ate it. I didn't either. Dude, that's an old butterhead. <laughs> Dude, these smallmouth bleed so freaking easy, man. God! Five, right? Uh huh. He looks like he's in a fucking holocaust, though. Dude, he just lost a damn pint of blood. And he wasn't hooked in his throat until he started shaking. It clotted it up. I mean, it, I don't know if he's going to live, but the blood clotted, so. Three and a half pounder. I know. Hey, that was the that was the new best pop, popper bite I ever had. <laughs> and then the other one was the second best. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I would just call Jeremy and see where he's at. If you think he's got them. I'm telling you, dude, old Clyde fixes to come up. I hope, dude. Like, I'm shaking thinking about it. Hey. Could you do me the biggest favor? Do you have any fin clips? Can I, can I borrow, like, two? That, that scary and caught a big one, and it's turning up. Like, we don't want it to die. I mean, we got two turning up like that. I don't want to, I mean, I don't know they might not. They just... Is the big one already dead? It's not dead. It's not dead, but it's turning up. Yeah. Where, where are they at? Where are y'all at? I mean, he's going we need to go get those clips right now if, if we think he might stay alive. Really? Yeah, because the fish isn't terrible. Um... Yeah, but we still need to go now. I got a fish on. <laughs> a bluegill. Check that out. Dude. I told you. Cool. Yeah. I told you I'd catch one off of them. Oh yeah, big call. There's your call, guys. Ah. 
Hey. Hey, if any of y'all are subscribed to my channel and you own this house, me and Trey absolutely hate your dogs with our whole heart. Just wanted you to know that. Well guys, I haven't done a lot of talking directly to you today, but this morning has gone actually much better than me and Trey thought it would go. So we had a decent practice as in we found a pattern on Thursday. It was a stable pattern, running the mayflies, Trey was getting bites, I was getting bites. And then this morning, I mean, then Friday, we tried to do the same thing. It, it did not work on Friday. So we were kind of scared because Friday, we didn't, uh, the pattern that we thought we had, it, it was just gone, but it was so windy, we kind of were hoping that that was the reason. And then now this morning, we came back to one of the spots and y'all have obviously seen what's happened. So anyhow, we're gonna keep fishing the same kind of stuff, skipping this wacky rig around now. Got him? Yeah. Good one? Yeah. Good one, good one. Swing him. There we go. That's a dug. That's a call. You want me to mess with the fish or you want to mess with them? Uh, you know which one's a call? I, yeah. I'll just look. I got you. You keep throwing. <clears throat> good job there, buddy. Oh, which one's bigger? I mean, my, that one right there is definitely longer. Yeah, it's bigger. All right, guys. Trey just called. Oh, that's definitely bigger, dude. That's probably a quarter that's a quarter pounder more at least i would say quarter pound like we at mcdonald's bruh got him is it really yeah. trey's got one guys he says big one come on baby he says big one come on dude come on dude Yes! Yes, son! Yes! Look at how he's hooked, right? Oh, he, he's in the mouth. Oh, good job, dude. That's a good one, dude. All right, we just made another call. This one's going in the box. And this one's coming out the box. That was a good swap. Good call, Trey. Another one? Big one? Trey has got another one, the next cast. Hell yes, dude. Yes! Dude, literally the next cast. I made one crank. Give a, give a motion to the camera on how he bit. Just like, just a motion. Just a motion? Yeah, if you were the fish and your hand was a fish, how did he bite? Boom! Like that. <laughs> Alright, Trey just called again. So, uh, here's the one we're putting in now. And he's calling so fast, I can't even figure out. Uh, Trey, my phone's not swapping. Oh, this is awkward. And this little skinny guy is our smallest now. Oh. Uh. Now we got five smallies in here. I need your help real quick. Just hold the hold, hold on this out of me and just hold it right there. I'm gonna drop them down in it and just see what all we got. Cause I it's I'm losing them. And I don't I don't like putting the cold tags on these smallmouth. Pretty sure that dark one was our smallest now. Cause this one right here. Um, you can save them on the, that scale. I, mean, I know, but I don't want to put coal tags on them, so you never know. So you never know. That right there's a whole hump. Back. Okay, what's the smallest out of these three? The dark one. No, this no, one's the smallest. The one you just caught. Okay. I'm good. There's two There's two in here that are obviously bigger. Like the one that's in a live well now, and there's another one that's obviously bigger. So we're good. Okay. Heck yeah, dude. Good job. So we have four fish that are two and a quarter. Yeah. 
average because one of those is two and a half. Another one's probably close to two and a half. Yep. So four fish that are average two and a half, that's 10 pounds. And then that big one is three and a quarter at, at, on the low end. Do you, right. realize, do you realize we've caught them behind everybody all day? We fish behind them all day. Yeah, that's true. Really catching them behind, behind people, multiple people. I wonder, I mean, dude, a lot of people are throwing a spinning rod though. Like, uh, I mean, I don't, like you said, I don't think a lot of people are doing this exact same thing. I mean, throwing a chatterbait on a bluff wall sounds kind of dumb. It really does. Throwing a popper on a bluff wall to me sounds really dumb as well. We just found the, t we found the dumbest pattern award. We really did. Actually, we didn't find it. You found it. Hey, that boat's leaving too. Yeah, I figured out the chatter plug. You figured out the popper. The only reason I'm even throwing the popper is because that song was popping. That's, that's the only reason. And it paid off. So now all the way back to the ramp. That's what we jamming? Yep. And Kay Donaldson, if you're watching this video, you're going to hear us all the way from Angle Carver. Yeah. Brand new whip does hop in. I got out. Um, yeah, so we just looked through all of our fish. I, I'm pretty, I don't know if y'all could see that or not, but uh, we weighed, well, actually we didn't weigh those, but the smallest one is at, at least two pounds, the smallest one. I think average, we've got four that are average. What do we say, two and a half? Two or and two four. and a quarter. Average, probably two and a quarter. And then we got one that's like between three and four. He's not four pounds, but I think it's at least a three pounder. So we're sitting somewhere around 13 to 14 pounds somewhere i would i would think we're closer to 14. but that's just that's just eyeball guessing plus they're small mouths, so they are a little bit heavier like they always are way heavier than what they look i'm hoping i can catch one more old clyde on this thing we still ain't caught old clyde up there either oh he's way up there ain't he yeah and oh, hey, this ain't even the docks I was thinking it was. He's way on up there. I, I know I've said it a thousand times, but you say it again. Say it again. You realize if old Clyde up there decides to bite, we could win. <laughs> we could win. Yeah, I know. I hope these little boys don't just do a big old loop idle around. Yeah, me too. That motor sounds like he needs to head on back to Ingles, though. <laughs> there you go. Good one, buddy. Not a bad one. Old chunker. Old chunker. Another one on the chatter chicken. That little trailer right there, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> that one has seen his better days. That has seen better days. That's an old fatty hey, tray. That's a bite, though. Here. Let's go, baby. So, for the last time y'all saw us and we talked, um, me and Trey decided to run up to Decatur. We're fishing Decatur Flats. And we're just throwing chatterbait around like we've been doing all day. So now we're fishing it in some in some grass, some some submerged grass, and just slow rolling the sucker back. You get hung up in the grass, and then you just rip it free. And honestly, we did this yesterday, and had the worst day of ever doing it because it was so windy. But the pattern we were doing today kind of ran out. We think it was a morning bite only. So we're like, heck, let's go back up there. It's slicker today. We get up here and the water's actually way cleaner. I bet that's why there's not a lot of people out here. Actually, there's nobody on the flats at all. No. Uh, because it's it was it was really, really muddy yesterday because the wind was so fa so bad. But I think, I mean, just us talking about it, it slacked off today. I bet it gave it time to clean up. Just wish we could get on a, on a little school um, like that. All right, guys, here's this step again. So. All of you liked the last video where I showed basically what to do after you get in from a tournament. So again, we get these little key fobs. It's got your boat number on the bottom of it. And you keep up with this throughout the day. And if you don't have this key fob, you cannot weigh your fish. And they have had that happen before where someone lost this throughout the day. And literally that person did not get to weigh their fish. So with all that being said, keep up with this guy if you want to weigh your fish in. So now we got to go stand in this gigantic line that I'm walking up to now. And everybody here is waiting on a weigh-in bag. All right, so finally up to the bag line. There's a bunch of these empty bags, but they've got to have the mesh bag inside of them. So these bags hold the water. The mesh bags hold your fish. Just like that. Really? <laughs> gotta be quick. <laughs> oh, 
Terry's gonna be mad if you let him die. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can't even tell. These look really big. <laughs> See, I, I'm starting to think that too. What we gonna do with that thing? Bring it. What do you mean the one right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we... I look everywhere in that thing. Near and far? <laughs> Okay, it's a good strike. We got a pretty good bag. I mean, all smallies. All right, out of the bag, into the basket. Here's our fob. So that fob allows us to go walk the stage and weigh in. Now the thank you. Now the basket goes in the water. It's got G juice, it's got oxygenators in it. You just slide this on down. So we got our fish in the basket. Now we got to carry it up here. As soon as he gives us a go ahead, we're walking these fish up. Trey, are you walking them? I can. You can walk them. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, she's whizzing out, Wayne whizzing out. Four bass today, just one shot, man. Have you ever had a fifth one on? No. If it is, an under a couple. All right, so now this is the holding tank. Yeah. Now that's the weigh-in tank. So that's that fifth year, 7.55 per day. Thank you, sir. Then they come here. Moving on to Darian Craig and Trey Swindle talking trash on YouTube directly to Robbie Floyd. I want directly. To and I want to say first, let's find out what you have because you have five bass and i'm looking at this you had a good day out there in the water five bass for 1280 just outside that top 10 now you were talking trash saying that i said you were not going to catch fish today i never said that and i just want to prove this i recorded this <laughs> <laughs> See? So you oh, said, okay. I said you uh, were going to catch yeah. fish. I said, are they going to catch fish? We're going to find out. You showed me. You caught fish in early, too, didn't yep. you? Yep. We caught every fish on one stretch, probably 20 yards first thing this morning. Well, Trey, and it looked like Trey was doing the upgrades. You kept so I saw yeah. one. He was like, hey, look, Trey did this. Yeah. This yeah, goes out. We, this one goes we out. cold quickly, and everything happened really, really quick. Even with the swindle in the boat, you were able to catch fish. Barely. It was luck. It was It was tough. You yeah. having fun? Uh, YouTube stuff doing good? Yeah, more it's viewers? fun. It's fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Having a good time. Yeah, we're glad to have you there. I saw you talking about grabbing an adult beverage, but it was a Red Bull. It was a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Really good. I'm with you, brother. Hey, good job. That was awesome. Uh, is that right? 1031? That ain't bad, is it? Thank you, thank you. Thank You're you. like, hey. Could have been better. So, Trey, they were not quite as much I as we seriously did. thought we had about 13. Well, the guys, Adam Willingham. They got boat number 81. It takes the new Brody Hopper. I'm not dehydrated. My brain's not You're working. I'm trying to hide. I just saw. I just saw. Oh, Almost yes. Asking, time you time shall time receive. <laughs> I seriously thought we had more than that. I'm kind of Me and Houston weighed five at Neely Henry. That weighed like 498 or five fish. That's, that's pretty talented. Yeah. I'm talking about you better have them quick. All right, Trey. I need a quick ending to the video. I'm disappointed. Why so? Tell well, them the truth. The truth? The whole truth. Tell them the, tell them the truth. The Alabama Bass Trail, their We're scales are not right. We're protesting. We're protesting. They use cheap scales. Yes, they're very inaccurate. Dollar Tree probably. Yes. I mean, I'm telling you, we got certified scales in here, and they weighed $13.89 in here. And up there, you'll just have to see that in the video, but they did not weigh that. They gave everybody else metal baskets. They gave us aluminum baskets. Yes. I'm talking about cheap 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 and then they just pushed us off the stage like we just suck so i'm really irritated and i'm gonna drive all the way back to blunt county mad yeah guys that was the exact same wrap up i would have done for this tournament uh, except <laughs> the the abt scales are not that terrible i think me and trey are just terrible at eyeballing them i guess i mean i'm lying i, I don't guess that we're, we're, we thought we were dead on but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, this was another fun tournament video. Actually, the morning was fun. The rest of the day was absolutely miserable. But 
it was a fun tournament. Like the video, the fish catches that y'all got to see was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget that the Alabama Bass Trail is giving away those two coolers and a Hydro Wave. All you got to do, hit the top link in the description to go to the Alabama Bass Trail YouTube channel and subscribe to their channel as well. See y'all in the next one.